Hey everybody, today's YouTube video is uh, from a question from one of my subscribers, which is a really good question. Uh, and they wanted to know uh, about line size on jerk baits, about what line I throw and what pound test I throw. And you know, this this is probably, in my opinion, one of the most critical parts of jerk bait fishing is the line, because the line has so much to do with what you can do with the bait as far as in terms of uh, casting distance and depth. And for the most part, um, the, you know, I break my line categories up into the type of water I'm fishing and the time of year. In the winter time, like, uh, you know, right now, for example, anytime that water temperature's down in the 40s and 50s, when I'm wanting to max out the depth of my jerk bait, I like to stay with light line, like six to eight pound test. And I use nothing but Seaguar and Vizex for all my jerk baits. I, I think it's, I've experimented with a lot of different uh, types of line that Seaguar makes. And by far the Seaguar and Vizex is my favorite line as far as just for the casting distance, the feel, the diameter, you know, uh, just the, the, the amount of stretch that it has. It just, it's a really good line, particularly since I use it on a spinning rod all the time. You know, if you followed me much at all, you know that I fish my jerk baits on a spinning rod 90% of the time. But the line test that I use primarily when the water temperature is in the 40s and 50s is six to eight pound test line. And there's a couple of reasons for this. First of all, when you're using six to eight pound test line, you can make the longest cast that you can with, with any jerk bait. Um, and that's critical when you wanna get that bait to the deepest part, because the longer the cast you have, the longer your bait's gonna be down in that, in the maximum depth, which I call the sweet spot of the jerk bait. And, it makes a huge difference because if you're fishing and you're wanting to get that bait down to the deepest, it makes a huge difference between six and eight or 10 pound test line. A bait feels completely different. If you throw a Mega Bass 110 on six pound test line versus 10 pound test line, there's a completely different feel to it. And you're sacrificing two foot of depth by going to 10 pound test over six pound test line. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So the biggest advice I could give you during cold water months is to is to get your bait, uh, your, get your line size as light as you can get away with. And I also think that, you know, light line, a lot of times, it gives you that ability to finesse that bait in cold water more. Because in cold water, I'm not really after that hard darting action. I'm, I'm, I've, I've got a lot more of a subtle uh, action I want on the bait, more like just a, uh, uh, you know, barely just small twitches. And I think that you can have better feel with the bait with the lighter line. Now, as the water warms up uh, and I get into other jerk bait situations where I don't want the bait to go as deep, particularly if I'm fishing around cover, that a lot of times I'll start upsizing my line like to 10 to 12 pound test line. And 12 pound test is the max that I use on my spinning reel. I'll use 10 and 12 pound test Seaguar and Vizex on my spinning reels if I if I want to keep the bait high in the water column. And I do this a lot if I'm smallmouth fishing, like up north where I want that bait to stay high to get those fish to, to come up on it. I don't really want them to get a good look at it deep. I want them to be able to come up on it almost like a top water. So I'm not really <clears throat> after the depth attainment, <clears throat> but I still want to stay with the lightest line I can to still give me the ability for the long cast because even even though I don't want the bait to go that deep, I'm still wanting a long cast to get that bait a long way from the boat, which gives you a better chance for strikes. Now, some situations, if I'm fishing around like shallow grass, dirtier water around cover, like boat docks, lay downs, and, and a little bit dirty water, sometimes I'll go up to 15 to 20 pound test Seaguar and Vizex. And that's when I'll use a bait caster sometimes. If I'm, if I'm making shorter casts around objects and cover, um, that's the only time that I use a bait caster, which is very rare, because uh, most of the time when I'm fishing a jerk bait, it's more in open water, that type of deal. So, in other words, you know, just sort of an overview on it is just, um, you know, really try to judge what you want out of your bait as far as your depth attainment and your casting distance, because that really determines, uh, you know, the, the size of line that you want to use. Uh, my advice overall on jerk baits is, you know, try to stay the lightest line that you can get away with. I just think you get more bites on it. I think it gives the bait better action. 
um, and it gives you a little bit more casting distance. So anyway, hope, hope that helps and um, you know, keep the questions coming. We've got the list of them I'm trying to get to right now. And again, I appreciate everybody subscribing and uh, we'll check in later on with another video.